everyone, I should be sleeping and I'm not, I'm just Lydia. I've had an horrific day, I woke up and I felt like I'd not slept but then I thought maybe I've had too much sleep so I should get up. So I got up and it was like not too much sleep, it was just I was so physically exhausted and I stayed up for a few hours and then I got so, so tired that I couldn't keep my eyes open and I felt really unwell and like really horrible. I felt worse than I did when I got out of hospital. So I came upstairs and I fell asleep and I was in and out of sleep for half an hour, 45 minutes, but the dog were running downstairs and then she'd come up and then I heard banging and all sorts of stuff so I just could not sleep. And then I got a message on my phone saying that I had a parcel that had been delivered but it'd been left outside, but then it hadn't been left outside. And then another parcel where it said that they couldn't deliver it and I was really confused and I got up and then I've literally been up all day now, even though I did come upstairs about 5 o'clock, 5.30 because I felt so exhausted again. I thought I'm going to have to go to sleep and then I came up and I couldn't get to sleep and then my dad's really ill, like he didn't even go to the pub and he never ever misses the pub especially on Saturdays so he said he wanted takeaway so I knew we hadn't eaten all day and even though I wasn't hungry I ordered the takeaway I can't remember what time it was I think it was like going up for six and it came at like 20 to 7 or something and then I thought should I go and lie down I'm exhausted and I didn't and I stayed up and now it's like I don't know, half twelve, one in the morning and I've been upstairs for like an hour and I've been watching like um, bits of videos on YouTube like I've been watching some dancing and ice clips because that comes back today and it was like my favourite TV show like I love Torval and Dean and not many people know that about me but I've heard that they're not even going to be performing on it and it's going to make me not want to really watch it because I think they're amazing and, you know, like, why get Torval and Dean on TV and not let them ice skate, you know what I mean? Like, I just don't understand that, so I've been watching a lot of those. And then, I just watched one of the videos that I filmed, like, a week ago, where I'm going on about Aura Morph and, like, finally getting it off a doctor, and I did say in the video, like, it's a crooked doctor, but it wasn't. It um, just wasn't my doctor or a doctor at my surgery. It was basically from ringing 111 and getting a call back eventually off a doctor and then prescribing it. But it wasn't just like they don't know the story. They know a lot of the story of the hospital and everything. So they were able to prescribe the morphine. I've not had morphine for a couple of days, but before I came upstairs like an hour ago, I had a double dose. I don't know if I'm allowed a double dose, but I'm just fed up and I don't really care if I, if I die from a double dose. I'm just, I've had enough. Like, I've literally gone back to how I felt days before I left hospital and I shouldn't be going backwards. And I've said in like another video that's going to go up as a bi-weekly vlog, this is not going to go up as a bi-weekly vlog, it's going to go as additional videos throughout January, but I basically said in that, um, that I've not had any antibiotics since it may be Tuesday, I know I had some Monday, and my doctor gave me a new antibiotic, and I think on Tuesday I was still taking my old one, because there's a bit left, and there's a little bit left in the fridge actually, and I just didn't take any until Friday, I took one dose and it's a very strange tasting antibiotic, I've never had this as a liquid before and it's very strange but at the same time it's a familiar taste so I don't know what exactly it is. So I've actually had three doses of that today because when I woke up early this morning I thought I'd better just get back onto the antibiotics and I mean I honestly don't know if I've gotten worse because I just stopped taking them 
or if it's something else because it feels very flu like like when I had tonsillitis the other week you you also if you've never had tonsillitis you either get a cold or you get flu depending on what is going around and like your immune system and everything like that and if it's flu going around you get a flu so because of that flu bug going around I think I've basically picked that up like in the last few days which I wouldn't be surprised by and basically if I do have flu and it gets worse it's basically going to inflame my illness again and it's going to cause other problems in my body and that's why I ended up in hospital because I got tonsillitis my doctor gave me antibiotics, they didn't work, I went back a couple of days, well three, four days later the doctor who's a local who doesn't know my history just doubled the dose instead of thinking she's getting worse rather than staying the same she's getting worse so he should have just changed antibiotics and then I had other issues going on and then my other illness had been inflamed over the week even though like it, I've been struggling with that with all, by, like, for over a month now and then it all came to a head and I ended up getting rushed into hospital so now I feel like I've got some kind of flu bug starting and I don't have time for it, I have too many things to do and I'm not even catching up on anything because most of the time I'm just sat around doing nothing like I'm going to work which is stressful and then I'm coming home and I'm just sat there and like if you ask me like what I've done I'll be like I don't know because I don't know what I'm doing like I literally feel like I'm just sitting there doing nothing but it doesn't feel like that like I'm gonna sit there for three hours it honestly doesn't feel that way and it's just because I'm so mentally drained when I get back but also I'm very depressed and also my physical health's really bad so combined like it's just really tough and hard for me because you know I'm just sat there and I don't even realize I'm just sat there because of how I feel and I am very down and that's another reason why I don't want to be in hospital because I feel trapped but also being out of hospital and being ill and still like being forced to do certain things all the time to keep other people happy that's taking its toll on me and I'm not getting enough sleep but I'm having more sleep than normal because I am ill and it's just really frustrating and it's like I woke up today feeling worse than I did over a week ago when I was in hospital and like the first thing was when I got up I had like excruciating pain in my hips and down my legs and a bit in my back but I think about an hour and a half after I took my painkillers it started to ease off slowly and a few hours later it was completely gone and it's not been hurting since because of course I started reading why I could potentially have these pains in my legs and hips and was coming up with lots of scary things so when the paracetamol and everything worked I was like that's good because you know at least hopefully I don't have um, blood clots or whatever else it was saying I potentially had but I don't know how I've managed to keep myself awake because I'm absolutely exhausted so I think I'm going to end this cliff and then I'm going to upload it like I've actually run out of like long clips that like to upload because I want to get 18 additional clips up on top of the bi-weekly vlogs and the live videos and the two extra videos that I've got planned on the 13th and 23rd so 18 plus them is 20 and then bi-weekly vlogs I don't know I think there's like gonna be nine because I think there's another Monday in January so I think there's gonna be nine bi-weekly vlogs so there's a lot of vlogs going up or video content and I don't know how many live videos because I'm like really struggling with the idea of doing them because I'm so exhausted and like standing there thinking of things to say it's just draining and I do like to do the standing up ones like when I've come in with the shopping because I then don't have to hold the camera um, but yeah I think I'm going to end it here and I need to go and have a quick wee and lie down and try and get some sleep so I'll start uploading this, bye everyone.